Welcome to my YouTube channel, Cool Girl 3651. Thank you for joining me. Today for my first video, I will be doing a makeup look. The look you will be achieving is the one I am wearing right now on my face. So if you want to see how to recreate this look, check it out. Stay watching and I will see you at the end of the video. Bye! Alright, so the first thing I do is apply concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, Dark Eraser Concealer. I use it in the color light because um, it brightens up the eyes. It's a good brightener. So, I just put big triangles under my eyes. And then I just take a buffer brush, this is the Real Technique buffer brush, and I just go in. Buffer. Sorry, I'm looking at the uh, viewfinder because um, I didn't bring a mirror. You know what? I'm gonna go grab a mirror. I'll be right back. So I just blend that all in. And it's all blended and really nice. Cool. Alright, so next I don't really use I don't use foundation because my skin's not that bad. I mean I have a few patches and I don't put too on that uh, foundation on that or concealer. So I'm going in with my stay matte powder by Rimmel. This is like a holy grail powder. I know everybody loves it. And the color Sandstorm. Um, I thought I got the transparent one, but it wasn't, so. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I just apply that everywhere. I, you definitely want to get under your eyes. Um, you want to set that concealer in real good. And this is one of my favorite powders, because it really doesn't feel like this anything. It's good. It just looks really super natural. Um, so after I put on my concealer and I move on to the eyes. So I'm going to zoom you in. So now you can see my eyes. Um, I like to start out with a base. The Maybelline 24 hour color metal tattoo on the lid. This is in the color Barely Branded, which is a really pretty, um, kind of neutral shade. It really just adds a shimmer. I like to get it in my inner corner. It's fine if you go a little off your lid. Just apply a bit of that. A little bit in the inner tear ducts. Next, I'm going to take this brush by e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. professional blending eye brush. It's just a uh, good brush. And I'm taking a Smashbox Trio. Smashbox Trio. And I'm taking the color Sable, I believe. Yeah, I think Sable which is this medium brown and I just take that and then pop it in the crease. I have a very basic um, makeup routine. You know, I don't really want to go too wild with it. I'm just blending it in my nose. Sorry, there's a little dust all over it. So now I'm going here, mirror, so, okay. and then I'm just really focusing on the crease of that, and it kind of just like tones down the shimmer, so that we put into that, and it gives it just like a pretty natural color. And then finally, I take this really big fluffy blending brush by Real Technique. Super fluffy and super soft. I love it so much. 
I'm taking the darkest color, which I believe is Sumatra in this kit. So I'm going to just take it and then work it into the very outer. Now I'm adding a liner. This is the Maybelline Master Precise liner in the color I'm pretty sure, just black. Just the black. Um so now I'm taking so I'm just gonna apply. I don't know if I can get this on camera. And then A thin black line like that. Try to get them to match as much as close as possible. And yeah, so that's all it for the eyes. No, it's not it. I keep saying that's it, but it's not it. Okay. Um, finally, the final step in the eyes is mascara. So I'm using two mascaras. I usually use two of these two. I have the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes because this makes a beautiful few really nice eyes and then the Too Faced mascara all these products will be down in the description um, to for you guys to check out I'll write down I'll list the products down below so now I'm just uh, even though it there's a couple dark colors um, it's really nice so I have allergies I've been going up my nose a bit and now we're almost at the end of this tutorial don't be too sad so now I'm taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I absolutely love this bronzer it is so nice it is dark even though I'm kind of I look really white in this thing I'm not really that white it smells like chocolate like everybody loves chocolate like you can't. It's just perfect. It's a wonderful bronzer. So I'm just taking that. I'm not doing a contour. It looks really intense on the um, camera, but it's not that intense in real life. That's what I like about it. It's not that intense. It kind of gives you a contour. I'm not being too contour. No. So, and then work it up. So it's not that intense, trust me. I don't wear intense marker. It just looks like it on the film. And sometimes when it is intense, I'll take my buffering brush and then I'll just go over it. And it just kind of fits it. So that's awesome. I love this product so much. I just so now for my other cheeks, my blush, I am adding, doing using the NYX um, powder blush in the color Dusty Rose. I think it's a super pretty color. It's one of my favorites. That's usually, if I'm wearing blush, I go for a rose, a Dusty Rose or a mauve color. So I'm just applying it on her and I'm just putting it on them cheeks. Oh. I'm just putting them on my cheeks. and then blending downwards and it's really a pretty natural face look. I really don't um, do my brows. Sorry I keep leaning over. I keep grabbing my brushes and they're all the way over there. Um, I don't really do my brows. Like fill them in because I don't have pretty good brows. I mean brow game too strong. Um, but I do like to comb through them so I'll just take a brush um, just comb. And comb through them. And, you know just to keep them tame you know <laughs> um and then the final step is lipstick so I'm gonna be using a lipstick I love a lot and it is the Rimmel uh Lasting Finish by uh, Kate, Kate something, I don't 
I'm trying to think which cape. I have no idea. I was going to say Upton, and I know that's not it. So I'm just going to... It's a really pretty color. It's a number 8. It's a little darker, because that's how I like my lipsticks, but... It's really pretty. I think it looks really good with this look. So this is the final look. Um, I hope you all enjoyed watching my first ever YouTube video. If you did like, please subscribe. Links will be in the description and all the products I used will be down below also. Thank you. Bye. Eyebrows on fleek. The what, the what, the what.